Welcome to our story time. Uh, I've been missing you. I hope you're all well and safe. And I'm just happy to be here today. So, you know, we've been singing a good morning song and I'm hoping you'll remember it. So let's start. It says, good morning, good morning. How do you do? Good morning, good morning. A happy day to you. It's going to be a beautiful day. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, jump up and down and have a seat. Oh, I bet you remember that, right? And we're going to try to say that every week during story time. So that way you maybe you won't even need me to say it. You can just say it yourself. Okay. So today, Miss Phyllis is going to jump right into her special book. It is a book about diversity. That's a big word. Diversity is a word that means differences, okay? So I'm going to show you the cover. It says, what makes us unique? That means what makes us special. It's our first talk book about diversity. It's written by Dr. Jillian Roberts, and all the pictures were made by Cindy Revell. So are we ready? Look at all the pretty colors. We are ready to, this is a new book that we received at the library. Okay, let's get started here. In nature, a rainbow is made beautiful by its different colors. If you look up here, you see that rainbow. And I see purple and blue and green and yellow and orange and a little bit of red. Look at the skunks. Everything is different, all the different colors. And just like that rainbow, the world is made different, is made beautiful because it's filled with many different kinds of people. Look at all the different kinds of people. They're riding bikes, they're flying kites. Looks to me like they're at the park. And our first question says, what makes us different? Well, let's see. People are different or unique in many ways. Some of these differences are things we can see on the outside. So on the outside, we see lots of different things. Looks like they're looking at some potatoes and apples. <gasps> People have different eye colors. They have different hair colors. They have different skin colors. People come in many different shapes and sizes too. They can be tall, they can be short, they can be big, or they can be small. Okay, keep turning. We're going to see what's next, how we're different. People also move and communicate in different ways. Some people use a wheelchair to get around. Some people need a guide dog to be their eyes and their ears. Some people talk to each other using sign language. Other differences are hard to see because they are on the inside. For instance, some people feel more comfortable alone or in small groups, while others like to be in big crowds. We should always try to understand and respect people's different ways of being in the world. So she wants to kind of just be by herself and read a book, and that's okay. And all these would like to be with all the other children to play. And our next page has another question and it says what about different cultures let's see what that means 
Culture is a word we use to describe the shared attitudes, practices, and beliefs of a certain group of people. Because there are many different cultures around the world, people speak differently in language and practice different religions. They also participate in different kinds of traditions and celebrations. Our next question is, what about differences at home in your house? What kind of differences do you see? Let's see what they tell us. People have different kinds of families. Some families have both a mom and a dad. Others have one mom or dad or two moms and a dad. Some children may be raised by their grandparent or a step-grandparent or any other living caretaker. Some families live together and others live in separate homes. Looks like she's living with her grandma. Next question. Are there other kinds of differences? Of course there are. Yes, there are many. People have different kinds of jobs. People live in different kinds of homes and wear different kinds of clothes. People eat different kinds of food and take part in different activities and hobbies. There are many different ways people show love and take care of each other. Our next question, what do these differences mean? Well, let's see. Because each of us is unique, we may not always agree with or understand someone else's beliefs or choices. We may not like to dress the same way or eat the same food or take part in the same kind of activities. Even though there are things that make each of us different, we are all equally important. We all deserve love, respect, and compassion, regardless of what we look like or how we live our lives. Oh, that's kind of important, huh? We all want to spend time with our families, be loved and make friends. We all want to be treated nicely by the people around us. The world becomes a much more beautiful place when we celebrate what we have in common and what makes us unique. Look at, oh, it looks like they're having some firecrackers. So we have a little person in a wheelchair. We have maybe somebody that wears glasses. So different, but they're all unique. And that's the end of our story. Wasn't that a good story? So what makes you unique? All right, remember, it's okay to be different and it's okay to be you, and we were all made to be different, okay? And we were made to be you, Y-O-U. All right, that was a good story. And remember, you can check it out at our library, and you can have someone read it again to you, okay? All right, well, it looks like our story's done, and I just wanna remind you that we have our summer reading program going and we can pick up the reading logs or you can go online and uh, print one out. All right, I think we're ready to sing our goodbye song. Are you ready? So let's stand up. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. But first, let's walk. Then let's run. Let's hop, 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 hop. Come on, I don't see you hopping. And, oh, 
stop. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. So, but first, let's dance. Oh, we like to dance. All right. And oh, and I think we need to stretch. We've been sitting for so long. Stretch. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. So I'm going to sit down and I'm going to say goodbye. And we'll see you next week. Don't forget, next Wednesday, 11 o'clock, story time at the Carnegie Public Library.